Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kid Lit Joy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to review We Do Not Welcome Our 10 Year Old Overlord by Garth Nix. Garth Nix is an author that I have read and enjoyed in the past. He is very prolific, he's written some of my favourite middle fiction and young adult fantasy that I read while I was growing up and so I was really excited to see he had a new book coming out and this one is delightfully creepy. So I'm going to start off by reading you the summary of the book and it says all Kim wants to do is play Dungeons and Dragons with his friends and ride his bike around the local lake but he's always lived in the shadow of his younger sister. Isla is a prodigy and everyone talks about how smart she is, though in Kim's eyes she has no common sense. So when Isla finds an enigmatic otherworldly globe that gives her astonishing powers, Kim not only has to save his sister from herself but he might also have to save the world from his sister. With his trademark creeping menace and a strong sense of 1970s nostalgia, best-selling fantasy author Garth Nix, Sabriel Mr. Monday, has expertly crafted this pacey and exciting standalone middle grade novel. This is great, it is a standalone book. Two, it is very much a sci-fi horror-y kind of story which is amazing because you don't necessarily always find that combination in middle fiction. So one of the recommendations for this book says that it is perfect for fans of Stranger Things. Now I've not seen Stranger Things but I feel like that is a really apt description and it was a really wild ride because we never quite know what's going on because we're only in Kim's perspective for the entire book. However, all of the strange things are happening around Isla. So at the start of the book Kim and Isla and their friends are out at a lake and they find this glowing ball in the, in the water and Isla grabs hold of it and Kim touches it one point, at one point and is absolutely freaked out by the feeling that he gets because he feels like something is crawling inside his brain and talking to him and so he knows that something is not right with this ball but as Isla takes it out of the water it begins to change and morphs into a basketball when Kim threatens to reveal that she has possession of it to their parents and so we know straight away that this ball is strange, potentially alien, potentially we don't know what it is and yet strange things begin happening around Isla as she is seemingly communicating with it. And so we begin to find out more about the ball, we find out that it does have a name and that yes it, it is sentient and it is doing stuff and so it has that really kind of creepy feeling to it because we never know just kind of what's about to happen next. Kim is trying to deal with this because he knows something is wrong but he can't prove it because no one sees what he sees because the ball can disguise itself. Isla is covering her tracks really well and so it becomes really challenging for him and really the only person that Kim can talk to is his best friend who was there and even she's not sure what to believe. Alongside this you have a lot of 1970s kind of stuff going on. It's very much an alternate 1970s kind of feeling and in the author's notes Garth Nix does talk about how the book one is dedicated to the friends that he had playing Dungeons and Dragons back in the day and the characters in the book also play Dungeons and Dragons and so there's very much that fantasy storytelling kind of theme running through the book which also then leads us the reader to begin to question whether what Kim thinks is happening is really happening or whether he's confusing fiction with reality and so it's a really cool combination. In terms of the writing I mean Garth Nix is just a master of storytelling. He has a huge backlist of books and his track record is impeccable so you have no doubt there that the story is going to be exactly what it says and that it's going to be well written and easy to read and as the blurb says it is very fast paced and it keeps you turning the pages. So thank you to the publisher Alan and Unwin for sending me the review copy. I had an absolutely great time reading this one and it's you know perfect for this time of year. It was really really enjoyable to read. In the description below I will leave links to where you can find out more information about the book and the author. I would love to know in the comments have you read Garth Nix before? Do you have a favourite Garth Nix book? Or are you interested in picking this one up after hearing the review? If you just want to let me know that you're here but you don't leave a comment feel free to leave a basketball emoji otherwise I hope that wherever you're on the world you're staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.